What's up? What's going on? Today is December 23rd. Merry Christmas. Um, bed. I'm tired. So, I did uh, three days, three nights at US Foods. Um, the first night was rough, honestly. First night was rough. What? Oh, you're in here. Yeah. What is that? It's a camera. For what? Let's make a video. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm making video. Go away. No. Because it has to ask your mother. Hey, what's going on? I got my clueless sweater on. Uh, let's see. I think it's the 27th. It's the 27th right now. Uh, 7.50. Oh, okay, so I've been at U.S. Foods for... About a week and a, a, week and a day or something like that. Um, last week I was, uh, training with somebody else. So... He was showing me everything, showing me all the ropes and stuff like that. And then, um, day one was rough, man. It was rough. I was with somebody else, but it was rough. They just do, they do things a lot differently here. So, it takes some getting used to. It takes some getting used to. Um, so out here in San Diego, they do a a lot of uh, a lot of um, mom and pop shops. They don't do chain restaurants like we used to do in Phoenix. So it takes some getting used to. So you can go to like couple. You can go to a whole bunch of different. You can go to ten stops and they're all different. They're nothing is the same. Like in Phoenix, you get a list of of uh, stops. Three Sonics, two R Hops, three Applebee's, one Jumbo Juice. All the stores look the same. They all look the same. So you know exactly where to put this, this, and that. This, this, and that. But these are mom and pop shots. So we start earlier and we start early morning. So like at 3 a.m. over here. So um, when he was training me, he was just like, um, for one, everything is all over the place it's all mixed so you have to start digging for different stuff so in phoenix it was just like you open your door first two pallets go to the sonic second two pallets go to the next sonic say uh third two pallets go to applebee's so like once you're done with the pallet you're done but here it's like you'll get three pallets and they all have three stops on them so you have to start digging out of three pallets for stuff. So I'm not used to digging. Definitely not used to digging. So he was showing me around and it was just like, you know, oh, this customer, this customer wants this in here, this in there, put the beef in the freezer, put the chicken in the fridge, put the, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, Ugh. like, I'm supposed to remember all this stuff. <laughs> so, um, and then they, we were putting them on the um, on the dollies, and he was like, "Chicken needs to be at the bottom. It can't be at the top. Uh, uh, customers don't like when it's at the top because it might drip and salmonella and all, the, all this other stuff." I'm like, oh, "Like, <laughs> this is just, I'm not used to any of that stuff." And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are used to that that kind of stuff, and I'm just not used to used to that stuff. I'm not used to seeing any customers at all in Phoenix. We didn't see any customers at all in Phoenix. Like, I would get done with my route before anybody showed up, so they could never say anything to me. Now it's like, you know, you'll... Last week I started at 1 and got done by, like, noon. So there's a couple of customers you would see and stuff like that. Um, but, yes. Yeah, it's definitely an adjustment period. Definitely an adjustment period. 
Um, so yeah, he's he's been showing me stuff all last week, and then this week I was supposed to train with somebody else, but I get a call last night. Hey, you can go solo, right? You are a transfer for Phoenix. You can go solo, right? I'm like, I guess, I guess if you want me to go solo, I can go solo. So last night was my first uh, solo night. And it was rough. I got everything delivered and stuff like that. But I left at 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. And I just got back like maybe two hours ago. So it was like almost a 16-hour day. Um, I don't know any of the stores. So I'm driving to stores. I'm parking on the street. I'm walking to the restaurant asking them. How the last guy delivers food, so that's uh that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. Today I did two casinos, two retirement home retirement homes. That's like another like it's more than just mom and pops. It's like retirement homes, casinos, stuff like that. Uh, homeless shelters, stuff like that. So it's not even just like. Um, you know, it's not like Sonics and Chains and stuff like that. And today, like today, like in Phoenix, we would do 10 stops, 1,200 cases. Today, I did 18 stops and like 700 cases. But it was like far distances between each each route. So no, no stop that I had had under had over 100 cases everything was like they have one like 90 all the others were like 40 or 50 or less but then you're digging you're digging for stuff you're digging for product and how they set up their trucks is um, you get refrigerated and dry in the first half of the truck and then the back of the truck has the freezer so if you need freezer items you go to the side door and open the side door and then get your freezer out of there and then get the rest out of the rest of the truck so they gave me a pallet jack uh, but you're not taking pallets down you're I mean some stops there's a be I had three stops that were just like 12 cases or like 13 cases so <sighs> today was rough I go back tomorrow at like four o'clock because I need my 10 hour reset but it's, it's, it's it's been rough. <laughs> you think you were transferring and everything would be fine, but like they do things totally different, totally different here in uh, in San Diego. So I gotta get used to all that, all that stuff that they're doing. But like I came in today and I was there. I was at the yard for an hour because I didn't know where the truck keys. They gave me my own truck keys. Like I have my own truck keys. Like. They're like, oh yeah, guys have their own truck keys. Like in Phoenix, you go and you look for your key and you pull it off the thing and put it in your pocket. And like, they would give you keys to the store in Phoenix. They would, it would be part of your packet when you like pick it up. Part of your packet would have the keys in there. Here you have to like look at your invoice and then find the keys that you need. Or like go to the board and pick off the keys that you need and stuff like that. It's not very clear on the invoice, like, which keys you need. Like, I pulled off two keys today, but I didn't use either one of them, so. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to... If you guys have any suggestions, if you guys are diggers and digging out product, how to organize and, you know, be best efficient. Because I touched a lot of product today, and I probably touched twice as much product that was in my truck. Just moving it. You know to get it out the way to dig for something else so <laughs> i know a lot of you guys are like what the like i do that all the time but i'm like like it just wasn't like that in phoenix so um yeah man that's my video what's the time is this on here eight minutes yeah it's fine <laughs> um but yeah it's about eight o'clock i got another hour i'm about to go to sleep i'm just exhausted but uh yeah man you guys have any suggestions let me know about digging out product and stuff like that because it was not fun. I went to a, sorry, uh, last thing. I went to a, a freaking restaurant where 
The cooler and the dryer were like downstairs underneath the restaurant in like a basement area. I literally have to like duck like this because if I stood straight up, I would hit the ceiling of the cooler and the dryer. Like I had to bring my dolly in and go like this. It was just a mess, dude. It was a mess, man. It was a mess. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah. All right, man. Uh, I don't know the next time I'm going to post. I'm going to say Happy New Year now because it's probably be after New Year after I post. But uh, Happy New Year. And um, thanks for watching. <coughs> Subscribe. I'll get some stuff on the truck uh, soon. I'll put some videos up on the truck soon. And I'll show you guys more stuff uh, at the yard here.